good today. So we took the forks off and see what we got. We got BBR springs and BBR dampening rods for the TTR 110. This was a very weak point on the bike, these forks for an adult rider. I bottomed them out all the time. Like I said, they're made for little kids. So the springs are supposed to stiffen it up. The dampening rods are supposed to slow the, the flow of the oil, um, I guess for rebound and whatnot. So <clears throat> we're gonna take this over to my buddy's house and I'm gonna watch while he does these because he knows a lot more about them than I do. And, uh, and hopefully we're gonna end up with a, a much better handling TTR 110 for a uh, adult size or heavier size rider. I got the uh, springs and the dampening rods put in. I don't have a video of the install. I had a friend do it. Uh, and I wish I had the CRF here to show you a comparison because it really raised the front up a lot. And now the front brake lever was way too short, or I mean the front brake cable way too short. And I tried to make it work, but it didn't. So I went ahead and ordered a brake cable from a 2012 CRF 100. So last year they made the CRF 100 and they had drum brakes. So we're gonna hope for the best here because this one measured 38 inches and uh, my neighbor has a CRF 100 and I measured his and it was 42. So it's four inches longer. So I'm gonna put this in hopefully. What I'm really worried about is if this these threads are the same as these. And if they are, and they look like they are, I think we're gonna be good. It's not the same size. It's a little bit bigger. And it's not screwing in here. So, I might have to tap this out to this size. Um, because I tried to move this drum and adjust it up higher but there's like a piece on here that it only this lever or this arm only sits in that position i don't know if i could modify it and get it to take it off it goes on splines there and move it higher i tried and without some kind of modification that's the only position it sits and in that position the cable's way too short so i think we're going to take this off and um i'm going to try and tap this out to a bigger size that'll fit this and um, as far as length it looks like it's pretty close so we'll so, get a tap set. I was able to use the gauge here obviously they're metric everything on these bikes are metric and they have this little gauge to help you find what threads you have and as you can see the one matches right up perfectly so I know that it's a one so I have a one and a seven, and a six, eight, nine. So we gotta figure out which size it is. We're gonna have to put it on the stand, take that wheel off. Might have to drill it out a little bit bigger first to get that tap in there, but um, it's with a six millimeter. And um, this stuff cuts pretty easy. It's, I don't know if it's magnesium, so. I get a feeling this is going to be too small, but we'll work our way up <clears throat> since it's so easy to, to cut these new threads with the this light with material. The six. the six was too small. I got the seven in there now, and uh, she's threading up. Got it tapped out. We got it all put in there. So if you're attempting to do this on your own, this is looking pretty good so far. The part number, the Honda part number, is right there. And uh, I think with shipping, this was $27. And the die that you're going to want to use is going to be this one, a 7 millimeter one. Plus side, this is a heavier line than the old one is. I don't know if that can do it justice, but it's thicker. 
and there's a clamp here that grabs this on both sides but because it's the cables the housing's a little bit bigger here we're gonna try and open this up so that it's not squishing it and uh, I got a little die grinder bit we're gonna put it in the drill and see if we can eat some of that out a little bit give it a Honestly, little bit more room. if you didn't have a tap and die set you could probably drill this out a little bit oversized and just let this slide in because you have two nuts here to adjust it up and down for your pull so if you don't have a tap and die set i wouldn't sweat it yeah i think you could still do this mod and it would still work fine you just wouldn't want to drill it out too big you want it to just barely be big enough to get this threaded end through that would be all you Go need back together and here's my bit that we're going to put in the drill and it already fits so we're just going to have to put it in there and work it around try and eat it out a little bit give it a little bit more room bit and um it's not perfect but it's better than it was so we're gonna hit it with a little bit of primer and Looks put like it back on the we drilled out here that normally goes in here is gonna be take up too much of the cable and uh it's not gonna work so i'm gonna try and run this housing right into here because it's pretty close when i mock it up but the brake's still a little tight so it needs a little more play so i'm gonna take this off and drill this out probably about a quarter inch so that this will seat in there and then I think we'll have enough uh, slack that the, that the wheel will spin out. and as you can see the housing fit right in that drilled in spot there a little bit uh, there's not going to be any adjustment up here on the cable but you still have a lot down here with this long threaded which is all the way in right now so um, just to show we got a wheel that spins. And we got a brake that works. And now it's just buttoning up and getting it adjusted. And um, not too bad. This wasn't too bad. And I was really sweating this because when the other cable was too short, I was like, boy, this is going to be an issue now because you can't ride without a front brake. Not adjusting at all. Threads are already in. It's got pretty good feel. Kind of how I like it. So, you're gonna put the BBR springs and dampening rods in your GTR. Looks like CRF 100 cable is the way to go. And that's part number and like I said earlier I think I paid 27 with shipping for this Scott showing the difference in height with the BBR springs uh, my Yamaha used to be the exact same size as that Honda and now you can see it looks like a totally different bike Good. 